What's up guys, it's Tex. You're watching Ninja Lifestyles and I'm gonna do a board setup today. Lucky you. Currently I'm riding this jam, 85825, I kind of forget, with some thunders and this really cool Dragon Ball Z grip tape. But I like to kind of reserve cool grip tapes. So since this is not snapped and I'm a fat boy, thick boy bike clip, and I'm a fat boy, Instead, I'm going to switch it out with this BOW! Brand new Santa Cruz Crisp Fresh out the wrapper I got it in California Somewhere near Costa Mesa Where I just visited At uh, Attic Skate Shop They're really nice Shout out to Attic Skate Shop But yeah, that's an 8.5 I normally use this Regular tool I'm going to use Ninja's Ratchet because he's Ratchet, so why wouldn't I? And during all this, I'll be answering your Instagram questions and many more questions, all questions, any questions, every question. First question, how did me and Ninja meet? Whoa. It had to be a bunker or... I remember how we met. So when I first moved here, um, it was uh, like... I don't know. I was really, uh, I'm from Texas, if you don't know, and Tex isn't my real name. My real name is Michael. So Ninja did have a part of my nickname, which is Tex. Um, when I moved here, I was really into basketball. I remember that. And I remember these apartments by the school that Ninja went to or skated by or whatever. And uh, <laughs> I swear I was Allen Iverson. I don't know who I was, but as soon as I saw these kids skateboarding, it was a wrap. And I went to Walmart and I got a mongoose skateboard, came back, and they made fun of me so bad. <laughs> then they showed me that we can just walk to the mall and get a blank deck, and that's how I kind of got started. And it was all hand-me-downs. It was straight up like the movie, What's Up Rockers? I don't know if you guys have seen that, but check it out, good movie. Oh, this is the delicate part, by the way. See that, it takes precision. What's your worst slam? My worst slam, definitely, definitely. De this worst slam ended my real grade. So, uh, what's it called? Green Valley, Green Valley Nine. I remember I just did like my first kind of street uh, rail. I fifty this like eight handrail in Henderson, Nevada, whoever. Thought I was the shit. Thought I was fucking Superman. Went to this nine stair. That's slant it into the ground, try to 50 it, and just poof, like, it's ar RKO'd, I pretty much RKO'd myself into gravel, and that, that's the end of my rep for you. That's the worst one. Another good one is when Ninja made me try the board slide bunker nine when I couldn't even ollie kickflip yet, but hey, I'm no punk. I tried, and my arms sw swole up like Popeye. All right, oh, what was the next question? Uh, have me and Ninja been in a bar fight? Well, there was this one time that uh, one of our friends, uh, who's a pretty decent DJ, he was a uh, winning event from what I can remember. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I was there having a good time. This is one thing, I never saw a fight. You can mess with me a thousand times more than you mess with my friends. But this guy who was, I don't know, he just wouldn't leave me alone. And uh, I remember him having a, like a beer in his hand and me talking to a ninja and my friend and he like just walked into like our little circle, you know? Like none, none of us knew him. And so, you know, we all were like, okay, whatever. So we kind of move. And then for some reason he, he picks me out of everybody. And uh, when we move, he's like, what? He just gives me one, like one of those. Okay, whatever. So we, I think we move again, or I'm like, dude, this guy keeps like messing with me. And right, like after I, I turn to Ninja, and I'm like, dude, this guy is like messing with me. I'm about to. There might have been liquor involved. Anyway, he started it, and as soon as I did that, the guy like pushed me in the chest with his beer. Rule number one: don't touch me. Rule number two be first <laughs> so yeah I hit the guy 
and kind of don't remember stuff after that, but when, as far as me and Ninja goes, we have to get up out of there. Luckily, Ninja was there, and they, uh, me and him, you know, no face, no case. Allegedly, allegedly this happened, as far as I know. <laughs> How much weed do you smoke on a daily basis? Maybe wow. talk about what's your favorite types of weed. Wow. So, recently, I don't smoke as much because... I am a teacher, so, you know, yeah, everything's okay in moderation, it's legal, do you would do what you do, but, you know, I can say the favorite that I've ever had would be Maui Waui, or this is 2008, again, allegedly, and then recently, maybe in the last couple of years, birthday cake. That's a good one. Allegedly. One thing I always do, I always put my front truck, I keep it as my front truck. I never switch them. I never rotate my tires. I just run it and gun it. Who is a better skate shop employee? You or me? <laughs> okay, me and Ninja both worked at this skate shop that was like only in Nevada and like Arizona. It's called Industrial Ride Shop. And uh <laughs> it's pretty much before there was Zoomies, there was this place. <laughs> Zoomies sell Blake Dicks. Like, it was cool though. It was like, you know, not not bad. But I'm not a seller. I can't I can't lie. I'm not a seller. It's you come into a store, you know, already know what you want. Ninja was a little better at approaching and everything, but me. I don't know. But what I can remember is uh, getting this skateboard. It was Christmas time. It's pretty cool. This guy came in, bought a complete for his son. He was wanted to surprise him, but he wanted to put it in a box. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen boxes of skateboard decks, but it's not really made for a complete. It's kind of made for like a stack of blank decks or whatever. So, yeah. So, <laughs> I uh, knew where, you know, there was a bunch of empty boxes where, but I, I was, what? 16 never like knew what drywall was i don't know why i just skipped that part of my life but um it was above the bathroom in the back where you keep all the extra stuff in boxes so i climb up there to grab him one and i fall through like two levels of roof electrical wire <laughs> into the bathroom hit my head on the toilet like this scar is from that like they had to take me out in the stretcher of the skate shop. So I would kind of say Ninja probably would be the better. <laughs> I got her. Yeah, I got recently let go after that. Shout out to Industrial. Thanks. Yeah, I didn't know what, what uh, the legal system was. <laughs> Shout out to Tinky. <laughs> he ran that shit for a while. <laughs> Top five skateboarders. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm. Mm -mm. Number one, Bashi Salabanzi. He's my number one. Oh, yeah. And uh, hey, I'm old school. I like this. Let's see. Number two, ooh, it's a new one. He's like a new Bashi. Uh, Zion, Zion Wright, I think his name is, yeah. right? Not the, not the basketball player. Wait, is that the basketball player? There's a skater named Zion, I know. I know. <laughs> They're both like pretty savage, though. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's see. Is that the dude that did the fakey half cab back Smith? Yeah, he does that. He's on, he's on Red Bull. He, I remember seeing him when he was like a kid and he would just jump off of like insane roofs and stuff. And he had dreads. It's like a little kid. Ooh, another one. Uh, I'm just going to name favorite ones. No specific fashion, all time favorite, but, uh, Cater. He's like, I, he's like, little, is he a little kid now? I don't know. He's, he's a little kid, but uh, I don't think he's 18 yet, but Jesus Christ, man. That guy's gonna be something. Uh, oh, just keep it OG. Everybody would think P. Ryder Reynolds, but nah. I was, uh, I liked it more like, I liked what I liked. Let's see, that's two, that's three. Mm, ooh, 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 ooh. I, think I, might I got one. Uh, what was his name? Brent Ashley. Yeah. Look him up. 
Look him up. You think you know Steve's? Watch Brent Ashley. Just for a ninja, I'm gonna say uh, Gershon Mosley. Why? <laughs> Why me? Because nobody knows. <laughs> Um, okay, no, scratch Big Sean, but shout out Big Sean. Um, so that's for last one, I'll say... Ninja. Boom! Suck it! <laughs> you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Watch, watch his old shit. Ninja was doing, Ninja's ahead of his time, I don't know. He's still ugly though, but shit, just can't win them all. No, yeah, Ninja's definitely won. Dude, when I moved here, he was wearing Circa tall tees and like Adrian Lopez, <laughs> Adrian Lopez, like circus doing tree flip front boards on like Metro 7 or some shit. What'd you do it on? Some shit. Like, nah, he was a little ahead of his time. When he could jump, he don't jump like that no more. Me either. I don't jump like that no more, but he's consistent. That's one thing that's crazy. I am not. What are some things you can't live without? What are some things I can't live without? That's a deep one, bro. Yeah. Are we skating or is this uh, <laughs> Ellen? <laughs> what is one of some things I can't live without? Uh, I can't live without money, clothes, weed, and deep. Friends, family. Besides friends and family, you can live. There's people. There's always somebody that's doing worse than you. Suck it up. <laughs> Put your big boy pants on and do what you gotta do. Besides, if you have your friends and if you have your family, that's all you need. Family and friends. God! You love it. First commercial answer, but it's kind of true. You can live without anything. Like, I can't live without, you know, I love body water, uh, weed. Can't live without my fucking iPod. Like, yes, 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 you can. We just did for three months. <laughs> it's all in your mind. Text, how do you meet a baddie? Oh, shout out to my girl, Lily. I'm retired. <laughs> um, be yourself. One thing I can tell you is if you're looking for a baddie, stop looking. <laughs> Let them find you. <laughs> don't work that way, Junior. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. This ends has many layers, but luckily I have a beautiful girlfriend. That puts up with my bow shit. But just be yourself. Be a gentleman. Don't be a scumbag. Plenty of them out there. there a couple of them are my friends. Shout out. Shout out to my scumbag friends. Shout out to me. I used to be a scumbag, but no. <laughs> nah, just be a gentleman. Be yourself. Have manners. Uh, turns out that goes a long way. Uh, find, find your lane. That's what I tell my friends. Find my lane. Find your lane. My lane is uh, funny. You know, music, I like to uh, make them laugh, uh, I can make you laugh. I look at my, look at, look at me, do a little bit of that, like, no, don't do that, like, uh, don't listen, just be yourself. Be yourself! Next question. Next question! <laughs> favorite tricks, maybe favorite tricks to do Ooh. versus favorite tricks to look at? Yes, yes, yes. This is actually uh, a big deal for me because that's how like, people always talk about skateboarding, and blah, 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 blah. but this is, I think skateboarding helps me meditate and I think about certain tricks because I like just like the way they look or because I can do them. So just, uh, what's his name? John Dixon, right? He does very good kick flips. Like I suck at kick, I can trade flip before. I, if you ask me to do a kick flip, I'll just trade flip because I can't kick flip like that. But his kick flips, front feeble. Anytime anybody does a front feeble, it just looks good. Um, same with front blunts. Tray flip is probably one of my favorite tricks to do and to look at. I started doing my tray flips different when I saw a skater called Nick Dampier. He's now a YouTuber, a bodybuilder, I think, or something, or yeah, a eat, fruit, eat challenge. And he is freaking yoked. You think I'm yoked? He's yoked. And the funny thing is, one of the people that I grew up skating with is Nate Figueroa, right? Yeah. I call him. I, could, I just always call him Nate, like Nate Dog, Nasty Nate. And he was skinny, skinny when I met him, but he, he always was down to scrap. That's what I remember. He was like a savage. 
still a savage, but it turns out he is now a, a YouTuber and also a bodybuilder and eater, and they're like friends. So, small world, right? But yeah, Nate Dampierre, Nick Dom, Nick Dampierre, sorry. He did his tray flips all. He was like one of the first ones I saw to do his tray flips all crazy. He made me want to do them. Switch heels. Switch flips. What are your thoughts on the trendy skaters? Trendy skater, dude. No, the trendy, like the, <laughs> the dress code. Oh, oh, okay. All right, so. What are my thoughts on trendy skaters? Well, it just uh, goes with time. When I started, I'm 32, even though I look 23, I know. <laughs> but when I started skating, it was the complete opposite. Everything was like, actually, no. When I got into skating, it was like crew jeans and Reynolds 3s and like Janowski's hasn't even came out yet. And like, girl, yeah, right. So it was like a different look and compare it, it's a culture, skateboarding is a culture. So you have to compare it to mu like music, to fashion, to anything. We're just going through another wave. Like, uh, even though some, what, trends, right? There is to dress like it's in the 90s, <laughs> which I lived through. <laughs> but um, yeah, to each their own. Not for me, I got big thighs, Bubba. Can't fit into a lot of those. Actually, I can't fit into a lot of those clothes, so. Kind of bias, but yeah. I know my friend Frankie. He is a trendsetter. <laughs> Shout out to Frankie Decker. Love you, miss you. He's in Cali right now doing his thing. Show off your socks, dude. Do your thing. That's my. That's my. <laughs> that's my alpha. I mean, I'm done with no compliance. Too, I guess <laughs> just the bug ninja I do with no compliance. All compliance matter. <laughs> That's, yeah, that's my answer, right? <laughs> All complies about it. Even though I'm not wearing a face mask, we are keeping six feet apart. I want everybody to keep staying safe out there. I know that's like, you don't want to hear that bullshit, but this is a perfect time to go skateboarding. This is a perfect time to collect yourselves and to see what things you can venture to, what you can go on to and prosper to next. So. Get off your butt and do something cool. The world needs more cool people. It needs less poopy people. But other than that, I'm missing a bolt. I'm gonna go find that later. Um, you guys have a good one. Hakuna Matata. You can follow me on Instagram at itex, I-T-E-X-X. -X. And that's it. I'm gonna go skate now, like you should. Hakuna Matata.